Hi guys, Colin here with Print Your Mind 3D and today I want to make a quick video to walk you through the process of how to set and adjust the feeder tension on your Ultimaker 3 or your Ultimaker S5 3D printer. It's a fairly easy and straightforward process that doesn't involve a lot of tools, so let's jump right into it. So in order to do the adjustment, the only tool that you're going to need is the hex screwdriver that came with your printer. And you'll notice on, this is the Ultimaker 3, the tension should be set to the middle dial of the indicator back here, which means that there's two small ticks above and two small ticks below. And the way that you adjust this is there's actually an opening on top of the feeder right here. And as you turn this, you'll notice that the tensioner moves up and down. And again, you just want to set this so that the line on the indicator lines up with the middle tick on the extruder itself. So the feeder on the Ultimaker S5 looks a little bit different, but the process for adjusting it is exactly the same. So you can see the indicator on the back of the feeder right here with an opening on the top, and you use the exact same tool, which came included with your printer, to adjust this. And so it's the same, you can move this up or down using the tool, and you can actually see on the S5, there's a little line that lines up with lines on the indicator here, right where you want to be. So that's all there is to it. It's really easy to set and adjust the feeder tension on your Ultimaker S5 and your Ultimaker 3. If you're looking to buy any Ultimaker products in Canada, head over to printyourmind3d.ca and we'd be happy to help you out. So thank you all for watching and be sure to stay tuned for our next video. Bye for now.